Welcome to tonight's meeting, Common Council meeting. This is the second uh, meeting of the Common Council, and it would should be a relatively short meeting. Uh, all we have on the agenda today is confirmation of the appointments. Uh, before we start the meeting, as we do always, we ask our city clerk to read the quote for the week. Thank you, Mayor. Reputation is what other people know about you. Honor is what you know about yourself. Thank you. Call the second regular meeting of the Common Council to order. Please call the roll. Boren. Here. Balk. Here. Serta. Here. Gisha. Here. Hannah. Here. Heidemann. Here. Kittleson. Here. Kleunis. Here. Manny. Excuse. Meyer. Here. Montemayor. Here. Rinfleisch. Here. Ryan. <coughs> Vanderweel. Here. Verhasselt. Here. And Wangeman. Here. Fifteen present. Quorum is present. Alderman Boren, would you believe us in the Pledge of Allegiance, sir? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Alderman Boren. Next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes. President Hanna. Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve the minutes of April 17th. Second. Motion and second to approve minutes. Any discussion? There being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Minutes are approved. Next item is confirmation of mayor's appointments to standing committees. President Hanna. Mr. Mayor, I move to confirm the mayor's appointments to the standing committees. Second. Motion and second. Can we get the standing committees? Oh. Soon easy. Yeah. You don't need to read it again. Do you? Any discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Commit, uh, appointments are confirmed. Next item, uh, President Hanna. Mr. Mayor, I move to confirm the mayor's appointments to special committees, boards, and commissions. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Of Alderman Wag Wagman. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Honor. I full well realize what a daunting task it is to gather all the names together for about 60 some committees and uh, to try and find the best people for the best spots. It's, it's a job that I wouldn't want. But I'm a little bit disturbed at the, some of the inequities that appear especially on the special committees. There are nine people on this council, which is over half the council, that have four committee appointments or less and that disturbs me. There are some 24 committee positions that are held by two people, and that disturbs me. I would just like to think in the future that we could see a little bit more equitable spread amongst the uh, members of the council. In the past, uh, I think that did occur because I've been searching through some old records and looking at old committee appointments, and it seemed that the committees in the past were a little bit more balanced. Now, I don't want to suggest in any way that this was done with any bias or purpose. I think uh, in the course of making so many decisions, the uh, actual count per person can be lost. And I do realize that there were some aldermen, for personal reasons, asked not to be assigned a lot of committees, uh, either for uh, personal reasons or family reasons, uh, or perhaps business or whatever. But I just wanted to bring to the council's attention uh, that fact. And I, I wonder if our listeners on TV that watch these proceedings really realize how important committees are. Most of the work, as we all know, are, are done in committees. And people ask, they say, why are documents always referred to the committee? They say, why don't you just handle them in the council? Well, you, I'm sure the city clerk knows the answer to that because there's six, sometimes 60 or 70 <coughs> some documents. You can imagine if those all had to be handled, handled in a council, we'd come here at three in the afternoon, probably wouldn't get home till one in the morning. So it, the major part of the work has to be done in committees. So committees are very, very important. There are some committees, of course, are more important than others. But uh, it just was somewhat disturbing to me when I saw the makeup of these special committees. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Alderman Wag Wagman. Just under discussion to continue, uh, I, I am glad Alderman Wagman uh, made it clear that it's not implying that there was any impropriety on, on my part. As, and I would agree with you, Alderman Wagaman, the appointments are extremely difficult to make because generally the only person that agrees with you is the ones who was appointed. 
the other ones feel you, you made the wrong choice. Uh, I went through the same agony. I went through the same uh, difficulty in making decision making in the school board as so did President Hanna at the school board. I did the same last year. But just a brief explanation. Some of these aldermen asked not to be in certain committees. Some <coughs> wanted to be in certain committees. More than two or three wanted to be in the same one. I had to make a choice. In some instances where there's aldermen that, are, that seem to be there a little bit more often, there's, there's two reasons for that. Some that were already serving in that position, and some because there happened to be a member uh, of a, a, a chair, they automatically get placed on, on some committees. Uh, last year we had one alderman uh, that sat in eight committees. This year it's not that many. Uh, it's going to happen throughout. The, I, I had uh, some aldermen say, I, I wish I could have been in that committee, but that's okay. Maybe next year I can get a shot. Um, I would ask, and I did that last year. Uh, obviously, you weren't here, Alderman Wagaman, because you just won the election. But I did ask last year, and I'll ask you again, if there's any concern, if you have any desire, any wish to be in a particular committee, I would ask you to call me right after the election, come into my office, let's sit down, and sort through everything. And then maybe we can come to some amicable terms about where we can be, where we can be. But again, I appreciate that you made it clear that, that, that you made no implication of any impropriety, and I assure the Common Council there never has been. And there never will be. Thank you. Any more discussion? There being none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Motion carries, one opposition. We got one more. <laughs> Attorney, please. Um, I hereby submit the following appointments for your consideration. Alderperson. Marilyn Montemeyer to be considered for appointment to the library board to fill the unexpired term of Alderman Jean Davis, whose term expires 4-30-09, and Janet Carter to be considered for appointment to the Commission on Aging to fill the unexpired term of Destin, Dustin Havens, whose term expires 4-30-2010, signed by the mayor. That's for a motion to confirm. Second. Second. Any discussion? Did you want to speak, no. President Hanna? No. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Conf uh, appointments confirmed. Move to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion second to adjourn. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. We stand adjourned. Thank you.